thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kimberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. The Harlem Renaissance was a time of great leaps in creativity, in music, in art, in literature, and lots of other areas, too. It was an extremely creative time, but it was also a dangerous one. Let's take a look at the Harlem Renaissance today and turn the spotlight on Persia Walker's Goodfellow House. It's 1926, and Lainey Price is a former crime reporter who now works as a society columnist for the Harlem Chronicle. One day, she gets a visit from Ruth Todd, whom she met three years earlier under the worst of circumstances. In December of 1923, Ruth's sister Esther went missing after a singing performance at the home of wealthy philanthropist Catherine Goodfellow. At the time, Lainey covered the story as a crime reporter, but nothing much was done about the case. For one thing, it's very possible that Esther left of her own will, and there's no law against that. For another, despite her talent, Esther's case wasn't taken seriously because she was just another black woman. Lainey feels guilty that she didn't pursue the case more aggressively when she was a crime reporter, so she promises Ruth that she will look into the case again. It's a tangled case, too. Shortly after Esther went missing, there was a major heist of valuables from the Goodfellow home. The police didn't catch the thieves, and since Esther disappeared at about the same time, they think she might have had something to do with it. Lainey doesn't think that's the case, and neither does Ruth. But she has to look for connections between the two cases. There's also the possibility that Esther might have been abducted. If so, by whom? That means Lainey has to look into Esther's romantic life and private life, too. The more questions she asks, the more trouble she finds. There are some highly placed people who do not want this case brought up again. And it turns out that some people in Esther's life are dangerous enough that they wouldn't stop at killing Lainey to keep their secrets. It's going to take all of her skills and a lot of courage to find the truth. So what are the elements that hold this story together? What keeps it moving? Well, as I say, this is a story of 1920s Harlem during the Harlem Renaissance. There's a strong sense of the place and the time and several mentions of some of the artistic, literary, musical, and other leaders of that movement. It's an exciting and dangerous time and Walker depicts it. Of course, even during the Harlem Renaissance, there were still deep seated bigotry and sexism. Both are explored in the novel. Readers will notice some language that would be considered highly offensive in today's world. There's also a set of assumptions about women that modern readers might find offensive. The story is gritty, even noir in places. Not everyone is who they seem to be, and there's violence and an uncompromising look at the reality of life for many people in Harlem. While the major questions are answered in the end, knowing the truth doesn't make things all right again. That said, Lainey does keep her promise to Ruth, and there is some hope in the story. The story is told from Lainey's point of view, first person, past tense. So we get to know her. She's not what you'd call a feminist, the way we think about it today, but she has no patience for the casual racism and sexism she encounters. She's dealing with the loss of her husband, and while she doesn't obsess about it, it is a big part of her life. She's driven, especially by her desire to get whatever justice there can be for Esther and her family. But she's not naive. She is tenacious, but she also knows that she can be vulnerable. Goodfellow House is the very Harlem story of a black reporter at a time when women and non-whites simply did not have that sort of work as a rule. It features a complex mystery, a distinctive setting, and a disappearance that has heavily impacted everyone involved. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kimber. Thanks for watching.